Hello, greetings, bonjour, hola, zdravstvoid, and in heyo, salve, konnichiwa, guten tag, hola, anyong hasio, asalam alaikum, godig, shikamu, yesus, zin dobri, god dag, and shalom. How are you doing on this fine day? Obviously you can't answer that. This is pre-recorded message or is it? I don't know nor do I care. I'm just here to spoil some secrets that the foundation has been hiding. Today we are looking at SCP-009. This is a ray red liquid that can turn water into itself. It's so powerful it could kill a person in five minutes after exposure. If this SCP reached the ocean, who knows what it could do. I just hope my council can do something. Never mind me. Item, SCP-009. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures, Object is to be contained within a sealed storage tank of heat-resistant alloy with dimensions not less than 2 meters x 2 meters x 2 meters. Under no circumstances should SCP-009 be exposed to temperatures in excess of 0 degrees Celsius when not undergoing testing, and no water-based solutions shall be allowed within 30 meters of the object's containment area. Object's chamber is to be fitted with temperature sensors which must be monitored at all times, and is to be kept refrigerated by no fewer than three, three, redundant cooling units. Any malfunction of sensors, or of coolant systems, is to be reported and repaired immediately. If at any time the temperature in the containment area climbs above minus 5 degrees Celsius, the chamber is to be locked down and flooded with coolant until temperatures return to safe levels, minus 30 degrees Celsius to minus 25 degrees Celsius. Containment area is to be kept in total vacuum during testing, and personnel interacting with SCP-009 must wear full environmental protection gear. Following testing, all equipment, personnel, and other materials must undergo dehydration procedures and be quarantined for no less than 12 hours. Any moisture found displaying properties of SCP-009 is to be quarantined and added to the containment area as soon as possible. Living organisms found to be contaminated by SCP-009 are to be terminated by chemical desiccation and extracted molecules of SCP-009 added to containment. Description, SCP-009 is approximately liters of a substance which superficially resembles distilled water, H2O, except with a distinct bright red hue. This red hue is discernible in all faces, and serves as the most expedient method of identifying contaminated matter before its anomalous properties manifest. In contrast to mundane water, SCP-009 assumes a liquid phase at temperatures between minus 100 degrees Celsius and zero degrees Celsius, and a solid state above those temperatures. At temperatures below minus 100 degrees Celsius, SCP-009 vaporizes into a gaseous phase similar to steam. Examinations of the atomic structure of SCP-009 have proved inconclusive. The substance appears to be identical to normal water molecules, with the exception of, redacted, in contrast to standard laws of enthalpy. Dr. Site S resident expert on xenospatial physics suggests that SCP-009 may originate in a universe with alternate physical laws. The most hazardous property of SCP-009, however, is its ability to contaminate normal H2O. When in contact with any aqueous solution, SCP-009 will, through unknown mechanisms, transfer its anomalous properties to other objects and creatures. Testing has shown it capable of assimilating ice, steam, tea, fruit juice, seawater, blood, and data expunged. The time it takes for this process to occur varies depending on temperature and the exact chemical composition of affected matter, and had been observed as taking between three minutes and hours. Experiments on D-class personnel have illustrated the process of conversion by the substance, which has been found to follow a consistent pattern. Testing on D-class personnel was discontinued as of the 23rd of April 2020. Addendum, Circumstances of Retrieval, Subject was found in, Alaska, on the 11th of May 2019.
The foundation became involved after reports were obtained from the native tribe, who came across the mangled bodies of a team of seal hunters which had apparently been shipwrecked kilometers from the village. All victims were found encased in red ice. Cause of death recorded as internal bleeding, though closer examination found, redacted. It is surmised that the low ambient temperatures in the area retarded the freezing process. This prolonged the time to total conversion by hours, and allowed the victims to remain conscious until data expunged. Origin of SCP-009 is currently unknown. Investigation into similar events or materials in the area is ongoing. Evidence at the scene suggests, redacted, possibly involving SCP. Exploration log the 11th of May 2019. Situational report. Mobile Task Force Beta 7, the Hazmatters, was deployed to recovery site to catalog and safely retrieve samples of SCP-009 for transport to site. Agent Bryce, MTFB-7, made a visual inspection of the area and noted three, three, bodies, all male, between the ages of and 40 years. DR, also on site, surmised from the relative position of subjects that Mr. Age 32, hereafter referred to as Subject Zero, was the origin point of, redacted. Subsequent subjects are presumed to have been exposed to SCP-009 while attempting to help Subject Zero back to the wreckage of the boat. During standard perimeter sweep, Agent Hughes located what appeared to be humanoid tracks leading northeast. After brief deliberation, a three-man team consisting of Agents Hughes, Whitmore, and Cassidy was dispatched to investigate potential security breach. Begin log, 6 hours, 42 minutes, and 43 seconds EST. Agent Hughes, we've found something, control. It's a cave. The tracks lead inside. Control, copy, Hughes. What do you see? Hughes, looks like a crack in the ice, it's, maybe a meter tall. The opening's not very wide. Agent Whitmore, cab, we got a body. Unidentified shuffling noises are heard. Control, we didn't copy, Hughes. Repeat. Hughes, there's a subject here, control. Frozen in the skip. Male, about 15. Looks like he was trying to crawl away from something. There's a spear gun here, also frozen. It's been fired. Control, any signs of trauma? There is a pause. Right square bracket. Agent Cassidy, without touching him, I can't be sure. But it looks like he was stabbed by something. See how he's gripping his chest here? Right where this spike is growing out, he might have been attacked. Hughes. Did you hear her? Control. Control. Affirmative. Tag the coordinates for recovery, and proceed into the cave. Whitmore, we use in live fire, cab. Hughes, there might be hostiles, so yes. But keep them in single shot mode. Don't want the guns getting too hot. Cassidy, good call. Don't wanna end up like this guy. Whitmore, unintelligible, that's for sure. Agents ready their weapons and proceed. Approximately two, two minutes pass. Right square bracket. Whitmore, unintelligible. Control, please repeat. Hughes, we didn't copy. Hughes, it's, there's a chamber in here. Control. I'd say, five or six meters in diameter. It's filled with red ice. In the middle there's a pool. Looks about three meters wide. Depth unknown. Cassidy, the fuck hap. Screams are heard. Gunfire. Control, Hughes, come in. Are there hostiles? There is a brief pause. Hughes, fucking hell, negative, control, just, Jesus, a fucking polar bear. It's dead. There's dozens of bodies here. Not human. I see a few seals, a snow fox, and a, what the hell? Whitmore, da fuck is that? Cassidy, no, 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 oh, God. Control. Hughes, do you copy? Hughes, Cassidy found a, um, a spider. A giant spider. There is a pause, during which shuffling and hard breathing are heard. Control, is it alive? What do you mean by giant? Hughes, I mean fucking huge. Control, at least a meter leg span. It's frozen, wait, no, 
Shit, I don't see anything inside. It almost looks like it's made of this stuff. Cassidy, unintelligible, not possible, we're nowhere close to Germany. Whitmore, what? What about Germany? Cassidy, Cap, I'm pretty sure that's 3023. Control, repeat, Captain? Hughes, Cassidy said the spider is SCP-3023. Control, there is a pause. Right square bracket. Control, that's not possible. Hughes, why would she think that? Cassidy, voice elevated, I'm sure. Control, I've worked with 3023. It's an instance made of skip 9. Whitmore, wait, what's 3023? Control, that is classified. Agent Cassidy, you are to speak no more of this. If the specimen is destroyed, there is no reason to worry about it. Please continue your search. Cassidy, mumbling, but how the fuck did it get here? Hughes, we copy, control. Cassidy, sweep the perimeter. See if there's any side tunnels. Cassidy, but. Hughes, that's an order. Cassidy, unintelligible. Hughes, check these corpses. See if there are any humans. Whitmore, on it. Control, Agent Hughes, how deep is the pool you mentioned? Hughes, can't see the bottom. God, I'm having SCP-354 flashbacks, this is not cool. Control, focus, Captain. Is there anything nearby you can use to measure the depth? Hughes, courses, well, the spider has a spear sticking out of it. Control, can you safely retrieve it? Hughes, the suit should protect me, right? Control, all the same, try not to touch the affected material. Hughes, alright, I've got it, should work. Looks to be about 1.5 meters long. Control, copy that, Hughes. Proceed with caution. There is a pause. Right square bracket. Hughes, well, it's definitely more than a meter deep. I could go further, but I'd have to get my hand closer to that stuff. Suit or no suit, I'd prefer not to do that. Control, affirmative, Captain. We'll dispatch some D-class with gear to test that out. Continue your search. Hughes, copy that. Well, I guess I'm. Cassidy, voice distant Captain. Hughes, stand by, control. What is it, Cassidy? Cassidy, voice distant, I think you're going to want to see this, sir. I think I know where the spider came from. Hughes, control, I'm going deeper in the cave. Control, affirmative, proceed. Approximately one, one, minute of boots crunching on ice and packed snow. Hughes, oh, that's not good. Control, what do you see, Captain? Hughes, a, an aperture. About a meter in diameter. It's covered in the stuff, Cassidy. Ten seconds of silence. Hughes, report. Control, do you have a visual of Agent Cassidy? Hughes, no. Shit, she must have gone inside. Control, please remain calm. Describe this aperture. Hughes, I, uh, it just looks like a tunnel, but there's no ice past the mouth, red or otherwise. I can make out a dim light coming from somewhere inside. Might be Cassidy's torch. Control, is there anything else unusual? Hughes, Cassidy. Cassidy. Control, Captain Hughes, please respond. Is there anything else unusual about the tunnel? Hughes, you yeah, it's, it's wet. The walls are, and the floor. There's a puddle about a meter down. Shit, it's, the puddle is red. A few minutes of breathing and shuffling noises. Hughes, control, did you get that? Control, affirmative. Stand by. 30 seconds of breathing, followed by approaching footsteps. Whitmore, yo, what's up? Where's Cassidy? Hughes, she went in there. Whitmore, yo, Cassidy. Holler back, girl. 30 seconds of silence. Hughes, unintelligible. Control, I'm going in there. Control, negative. Hughes, we're rerouting a team of D-class for recovery. Your orders are to withdraw the rest of your team and await further orders. Hughes, data redacted. Whitmore, whoa, hold up. Take it easy. Control, you have your orders, 
Hughes, I don't think I need to remind you data expunged. 45 seconds of silence. Hughes, copy, control, let's go. End log. Addendum, circumstances of retrieval, subject was found in, Alaska, on the 11th of May 2019. The foundation became involved after reports were obtained from the native tribe, who came across the mangled bodies of a team of seal hunters which had apparently been shipwrecked kilometers from the village. All victims were found encased in red ice. Cause of death recorded as internal bleeding, though closer examination found, redacted. It is surmised that the low ambient temperatures in the area retarded the freezing process. This prolonged the time to total conversion by hours, and allowed the victims to remain conscious until data expunged. Origin of SCP-009 is currently unknown. Investigation into similar events or materials in the area is ongoing. Evidence at the scene suggests, redacted, possibly involving SCP. The O5 command knows this dimension, I better go.